Hey, welcome back. In the first mono sequencer video, we learned how to set the pulse and change pitches. Now let's make a bass line. I already have a track set up with mono sequencer, but I need to find an appropriate sound. I remember something I liked called thumb bass, so I'll search for that. Now that i found it, I can just drag it into my track. The step enable lane allows you to create rhythmic patterns. I think I'll throw in a flat 7 every so often. Switch to the duration lane to scale the length of notes. Let's turn the guitar off so we can hear a little better. Let's make the first note of the sequence longer than the others. Part of the fun of Mono Sequencer is the fact that each of these elements can loop independently. Drag the loop handle to adjust the size of the loop. With a loop of two pulses, we've made every other note longer. Note that the pitch lane is still looping 16 pulses. Now let's switch to the octave lane. Using a loop of four pulses, I'll add some octave variation. Create simple patterns by using different lengths for each data lane. Now finally let's bring in all the other elements. 